Welcome back everyone. Where are we today? Wow, I've all got a little gem spot for you. So, welcome back to the channel. Days of adventures, 101 things to do in Mackay. This guy here is gonna show you around my town, show you what things there are to do with your family, with your friends, with your mates, with your kids, all that sort of business. Today, oh, I can just see all these mullet jumping. Let's see if we can get it. That is gnarly. Oh, something's chasing it. What's chasing it? <laughs> Look at them all. Wow, I wish I had a cast net. That is such a shame. I think I'm gonna have to follow this little school of, I think they're mullet. Man, there's like a hundred of them just in this little channel here. We're on the incoming tide here. Tide comes up pretty fast. I feel like I should stay near this bait school of fish because something tells me something is gonna smash it. I'm not sure what's gonna smash it, but I don't know. I was talking to this old fella before and he was saying to fish the other side of this little peninsula bit here at the caravan park and um, you know, you always gotta listen to the old fellas. But at the same time, you can't argue with a whole heap of bait fish just here. They're getting chased by something. Something big. I think I'm just gonna throw a lure. Like, what's what's the harm? Throw a lure. Very, very shallow. So we might go around this peninsula, but it's definitely something I might come back and try a little bit later. Um, yeah, I think there's like two hours left for high tide, so right on sunset. So if I play my cards right, guys, we could be on it. We could be possibly on to break a bit of a curse that's been happening with me lately. Haven't been able to land a fish, catch a fish, um, so let's be hopeful and today we might catch something so back to what I was saying Clairview it is about an hour and hour and ten away from Mackay south Ooh. Barra Crab is the place to camp beautiful um, caravan park that is right on the water and when I mean right on the water you'll see in my drone shot how close I am to the water now a bit of a story a bit of a story about Clairview when I was a young fella young teenager I am still pretty young now but anyway we used to come here a lot with all the boys from school during school holidays and uh, Run a bit of a ruckus, as you can tell with when you're teenage boys and you've been having a bit of fun. But we used to have some really, really good times here. And um, it's been a while since I've been here, to be honest. And uh, well, that's a big walk. That's a big walk. But definitely have to keep an eye on this tide, see what it's doing. And uh, don't want to get stuck. But, it really might be as simple as pick a spot, throw a line, watch the tide. 
So let's do that. It is camping season. It is camping season. It's starting to get that little bit cooler here in North Queensland. Afternoons are just stunning. You can see in the background, picturesque blue sky. We're at Clairview. Barra Crab Caravan Park. Oh, I'm here on a bit of a solo mission. I'm just gonna throw a bit of a flick. It's, it is actually a really, really beautiful place. To come camp. Now, you don't need, you don't need the fancy gear to stay here. They've got cabins. Get a little bar, which I'm, <laughs> hopefully I can stay away from. And it is also a Dugon sanctuary, and I'm hoping in the morning that I'll be able to flick the drone up, and it'll be nice and calm, and I'll be able to shoot a bit of a Dugon. Now, my mates give me a bit of grief and call me a Dugon when I'm in the water, but we're going to see some real Dugon. Right now, as this sun is setting, I'm going to go for a bit of a fish. I'll show you my camp. I'll show you around the place. Let's start off with a bit of fishing guys. I'm actually out on the little peninsula here, just off the beach. Now, this place is very, very tidal. All across Mackay is very, very tidal. So, if you're in Mackay, you should know about your tides. Look on your local tide charts now. I've just been here five minutes and the water has already come up. You know, it wasn't splashing up here five minutes ago. So the tide does come in really quick. So please be aware. Also too, if you're gonna come where I am right now in this little peninsula to go for a fish, Wear some actual shoes because there are a lot of oyster rocks and you would just absolutely cut yourself. What else do we need to know? Guys, there's cabins here, powered sites, unpowered sites. I've managed to snag one of the beautiful spots here at Barra Crab. Thanks, they've actually let me come here and they've actually let me stay here for free just to give you guys this content. So, you know me guys, I give the best of the best and this spot is probably one of my favorites and I'm actually thinking about bringing my kids back here because it's just that beautiful. Righto, I'm just gonna, let's talk more fish. just like five minutes of casting. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this beautiful barra. I'm about to take my shirt off. I'm just, my hands are too, oh man, I'm full of excitement, guys. I just caught it off the rocks there. Oh, beautiful barra. This is how fast the tide's coming. You know, it's only been like 10, 20 minutes and have a look here. This is where I was casting before. It's all coming in really quickly. So look, I'm pretty stoked with that barra. I'm gonna have a go on this other side here. Well, this tide gets up too quick but <laughs> guys the curse and a barra too i'm super stoked eh? like you have no idea guys super stoked about that barra like i have been in quite the fishing funk and just to catch that barra right off the edge there like i'm not big on fishing with lures like i just don't know the science about it but the fact that i just caught a barra and i haven't caught a fish and so 
bloody long just absolutely kicks this just made my day made my day that's all i need to do today i've done it i do wish it was a little bit bigger because this is salt water i could have actually kept it but guys I'm super stoked! I'm super stoked! Yeah! We did the barra dance! We did the barra dance! We did the barra dance! this morning and I decided to just come down on this high tide it was an early morning high tide so I just thought ah, why not throw another lure in man you should see this little lagoon that's here it's so beautiful like the color of the water is amazing all right I'm gonna flick crab episode if you need more information to book yourself a trip at the barra crab guys the link will be in the description below what else can i say about the barra crab it is a specky spot i love that spot and i definitely i'm going to sort myself out a camp trailer this year so i can get the kids going to some of these places that i go to um <laughs> get it in like and subscribe you know the deal <laughs>